It has been an amazing year for BYU Athletics. It began with that stunning announcement last fall that the Cougars were going independent in football with an exclusive television deal with ESPN and BYU TV. And it ended with Jimmer Fredette sweeping the National Player of the Year awards, leading the Cougar basketball team to the Sweet 16. And there was a whole lot of good stuff in between. True Blue's Jeremy Jordan in studio with us to talk about some of the good stuff in between. There was a lot. What are some of your big moments? Some of the big moments for me were obviously at the beginning of the summer, BYU going independent and going to the West Coast Conference and almost everything else. That was unprecedented for BYU, obviously, in a lot of schools. And second, obviously, and probably tied for first, if not first, was Jimmer Fredette and uh, everything that he did this year, having the chance to go in August to Glens Falls and kind of see before the storm hit the season uh, and how he took that and how he prepared was a lot of fun and how it all uh, happened in the end. It's been fun to take this uh, True Blue show to kind of a new level. Mm -hmm. uh, our reporting has been outstanding. And, you joining uh, as the host certainly helped. I was able to join as a host, and, and that's been a, a lot of fun for me. But just the whole, just the whole movement, uh, we're serious about this and, and covering BYU sports, and, and people will see that for real as we, we roll out in the fall and, and, uh, and go nuts with live sports. Yeah, it was a very exciting year for everybody, for us to cover stories in Glens Falls, New York, and New Orleans, Louisiana, and Vegas, and... Uh, we did the West Coast Conference uh, for our live broadcast, first couple of rounds there. We did 57 live games the last year. We hope to double that number next year and uh, add football and add a lot more men's basketball. It'll be very exciting for us here at BYU TV. All right, what was the biggest moment for you? Had to be Jimmer's 43 against San Diego State at home. Uh, having been to a lot of different BYU sports and he heard the volume and the hype and the build, to have that happen and then for BYU to win and for him to deliver, was absolutely uh, fantastic to be at. I think for me, uh, being on the field with my 11-year-old son as the Cougars ran out of the locker room, I think it was for the UNLV game. That was quite the rush. And then, uh, and then when Jimmer scored 52 against New Mexico in Las Vegas, in a in a Thomas and Mac that was largely full of BYU fans, that that was uh, that was something else. That was fantastic. And I mean, how many memories did everyone have of yeah. Jimmer from this year, whether you went to a game or not? It was awesome. All right, we still have some things to do. We got the Y Awards coming up. Yeah, Y Awards in May kind of an Academy Awards of BYU sports. If you've never seen it, that's a lot of fun. And then we still have baseball, softball, uh, men's soccer. And then uh, once we get to August, True Blue will start up. We'll preview everything there is to see out of uh, summer camp for BYU as they prep for football. And then we get into women's soccer, volleyball, and everything else. And live football here on BYU TV. It's and, been a couple uh, years, so it's going to be fun yeah, to do. We're going to rest up all summer and get back after. Thanks, Jerem. Here is a look back at some of the images from this amazing year in BYU sports. I'm Dave McCann. Thanks for watching us here on BYU TV.